Hey, how are we all doing? Welcome to this Enlight Video Lead tutorial. In this tutorial, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, I'm going to mess about with some some audio files, some music files, and just show you how to edit, how to cut, how to import, and just lots of things that you can do with audio or music files in this um, in this instance. It seems I do have a lot of questions about music or audio files and what to do with it, how to split it, how to shorten it, how to move it into an, another piece, how to rearrange it, how to import it, all of the above, all of those questions. So I'm going to try and answer um, quite a few of those questions now. So all I have here is just some stock footage, just a video clip, it doesn't really matter what this is because what we're going to do is we're going to import some audio um, and we're going to um, mess around with there. So on the audio tab here, let me just go back one, um, on the, the first, without the anything in the timeline selected, on the first sort of menu bar that we get, down the bottom in the center here, we get this little audio button. So I'll press that and then what happens, I'll get music, sound effects or voiceovers. I'm not gonna um, do sound effects and I've recently done a voiceovers video. So let's just, let's just concentrate on music. So this is how you basically import music into a Lightrix or into a Video Leap um, project. Bear in mind, if I have the timeline moved halfway down here that's where the music will start we can drag and drop it later on it's really easy or just extend it but let's just put it at the start for now and select music so now at the bottom you notice that the pink um, stock is highlighted and what you can do here on the right hand side you've got the little download buttons you can preview the music here if you were going to use stock for stock music um, it is supposed to be royalty free but I have uploaded a video and had um, that video flagged not as um, copyright or a copyright strike but I was unable to monetize the video so and the same with beat leap so just be aware that if you are using some of the stock music here you probably won't be able to monetize it but you will be able to use it so let's just have a look at songs so songs these songs that it comes to when I first select songs or audio files shall we say um, are audio files that I have downloaded to this device this is an iPad 12.9 inch pro 2020 model it doesn't matter i've got it downloaded to this device if this was my iphone it would show the music that's downloaded on this screen to my device so just the music that's downloaded to that specific device now on the little songs tab you notice it's got a little arrow at the bottom if i select that arrow what i'm then able to do um i'm then able to look into um, other albums, artists, albums, songs. What this doesn't allow you to do is use Apple Music. If you're subscribed to Apple Music, you can't go in and use that Apple Music because it's not your music. It's other people's music and you're just loaning it from Apple in monetary terms. You, you, you're paying them a, a monthly subscription to loan that music. You can't then go and use it on your projects, okay? So what I'm gonna need to do, I need to find royalty-free music and I'm gonna need to download it to this device. So if I go into files, so I have a Soundstripe account and I've recently downloaded this song here. So this song now drops into our timeline, okay? So we can play through this. And um, and yeah, that's that song. And if we wanted to adjust the volume, so let's have a look what we're gonna work on now. I'm gonna select the music or select the audio file within the timeline there and I get this new menu that opens up that's all to do with um, with audio files. So what we can do right away is we can volume and we can adjust the volume. So that's quite an easy thing to do and all we do that adjusting the volume is with the slider. So adjust the volume, select the volume tab and then left or right with the slider, left to decrease the volume, right to increase the volume. Then we can mute the audio for any reason we wanted to mute the audio. The reason I would want to mute audio, I think in any instance is um, just so I can um, play through something if without the audio there, or there might be a piece of the audio that I want 
a specific piece that I want muted and I will um, I'll show you in which instance we could do that in a minute as well so let me just unmute and then what we can do is we can fade in and we can fade out the music so in order to fade in this music at the moment the music just starts playing in order to fade in this music I select the fade in button and then I choose the duration that it's going to fade in. And you notice I have two little sliders. The slider in the audio file corresponds to where my finger is on the slider there. So let's say we want it to fade in over five seconds. It will now fade in over five seconds when I press play. But let me show you another thing that it, that it does quite nicely. It will preview um, your changes that you've just done automatically for you. So if I move the fade in, It previews for the duration of the fading. If I go a little bit longer, it automatically previews. Real cool thing on Light Tricks on Video Leap. It automatically previews um, the effect that you've just done. So if I reduce it again, it'll preview and stop. Now, if I wanted to fade out, what you notice is the music file or the audio file is much longer than the video that's in the timeline so we would need to trim that down the way we would do this let me just select the back button the way we would trim this down is we'd go to the end where we wanted it trimmed and with the audio still selected there's a little the, the way the same way that you trim a video um, in the timeline you select the little trim button there and then what we can do we can select the second half of the audio and i just want to get rid of that so i want to remove it so now i click remove so that's that and um, select the audio again now what i can do what's available to me i can go to the fade and i can also fade out and we want to fade out over a duration of two and a half seconds and it'll fade that music out nicely for us with the video i click back so that's fade and then we can change the speed of the music and this will change how quickly the music plays. So however many beats per minute this music is at the moment, I can increase the speed. Let me just show you. So my fade in, my fade out is still there, but the speed of the music is increased. If we want to undo that, just click the undo button on the left-hand side and get rid of that. The same with the pitch. So what we can do is we can keep the pitch. So keep pitch, it basically, it keeps the pitch of an audio file. So if you did a voice recording and your pitch was moving up or down quite a lot, what this would do is keep the pitch. So it would keep the sort of um, the tone, the pitch of the, the, the music or the audio file that you just recorded the same. It is quite good, um, but it's better... I suppose, shown on a audio file, a voice recording. You could try it yourself. Um, and then we can reverse the music. Keep the music selected. Click reverse. So if you wanted to give the feel of the video a real sort of, in this instance, like a trans type feel, then you could do that. Um, I'm just going to click undo just to undo that reverse and then we can change the equalization of the sound predetermined templates like a filter that you would put onto an image to change the, the, the feel and the look of the image the color of the image equalizer the equalizer just has real simple like um, audio filters to apply to that um, to the audio file and then here we can just duplicate the audio file and we now have two of them. Um, let me just undo that because I don't want to copy that. I want to get rid of it. So I've just got one. So, and then um, obviously at the other end, we can remove the audio file as well. Now, let's say, for instance, we wanted to pin this audio file to this timeline or to this video clip. Sorry. You just click the little pin button on the right hand side. Now, wherever we move this, that audio file would go with it it would stick at the point that you'd pinned it okay so this is quite good if you're using um let me show you if i split if i split this pin this to there and then move this over here that audio file stays pinned to the clip that i'd pinned it to okay i'm just going to click undo and undo again undo again just to unsplit that so the pin 
all the pin does, it pins it, it pins an audio file or an audio selection to the main part of the timeline that you've pinned it to, okay? Um, so what we can also do, instead of using the fades, let me fade in, let me remove the fade in, shall we say? So let me remove the fade in, let me remove the fade out. So now there's no fades. So I've got no fades. What we could do if we preferred, and this is quite good if you want to, let's say for instance, you're making a podcast or a video and you've got music underneath and you want it to be at a lower um, volume level than your voice. So what you could do is you could keyframe the music. So let's just move up a little bit and then I'm gonna click the little diamond button in the right hand corner and this will give me a keyframe on the volume of 100. So now if I move along here and I drag the volume down to 21, it's gonna keyframe that volume and keep it at 21 until I move it up again um, here to 100. So let me just show you this. Decreases the volume, keeps the volume level low and starts increasing the volume level. Now, if we wanted the volume level to stay, because it's going to increase the volume level over this duration here, if we wanted the volume level to stay at 21, we'd have to move it up the timeline, move it to 21 again, just leave 22, whatever, and keyframe it there. And then it immediately on the next keyframe, move to whatever we had it. I think it was 100. So now we've got that. It's going to stay low. It's going to stay here. So I can do the voiceover. As soon as it gets to this keyframe, it's going to start increasing. And it's moved up. Okay, so that's how we keyframe. To remove keyframes, we do exactly the same. Put the timeline over the keyframe. Click the little minus on the diamond. Minus. Or in this case, we could have just clicked undo as well if we wanted to, but I just wanted to show you how to remove keyframes as well. Um, something else we can do, we can split, we could split the music, um, select the music there, and I'm gonna split it. So now I've got two pieces of music, but it's just the same one. There's no, there's no delay or any split in it, but if I wanted to decrease the length of this piece of music, I um, gra grab the little, left hand button or slider there and i just slide this music along if i want to move the music in the in the clip i grab the teardrop and move it to where i want it to move to okay so now the music what we could do is we could have a let's have a look look here we could have a sort of nice little um fade in and fade out i suppose of both of the clips so we're gonna have a fade out on this one fade it out and then here, we're going to fade in. So now when we look at this, music fades out, stops completely in the gap, fades back in. So if you wanted to play that music or, or um, adjust that music, and that's the way you would do it. So the music has now got a gap in the timeline. Um, so there you go. That's pretty much all that you can do with um, with audio files and voiceovers. I say all you can do. You can actually do quite a lot for a um, for a mobile vid video editor, right? So um, if you have any questions or you have any requests or videos that you want me to do, please um, please get in touch in the comments below. Give me a like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. But most of all, have an awesome time. Catch you all soon. Take care.